What's up guys, welcome back to my channel and in this video I'm going to share with you what would I do differently if I would redo my game engine all over again. So without further ado, let's begin. Hey, if you're new to this channel, I'm Hero Serrano and I develop game engines. I've been doing this for uh, about 7 years now and even though I'm not an expert, I know a thing or two about game engine development. So you may want to subscribe to my channel right now and join my Discord server. Alright guys, so what would I do differently if I would redo my game engine all over again? Point number one, I would study other game engines before embarking on developing my own game engine. I would try to understand their API, I would try to get a sense for the user experience, I would write down what I do like and what I do not like about the implementation of each game engine, and then make a list of how I want my game engine to be, basically. Um, I would definitely do that, I would spend some time studying several game engines two-dimensional game engines and three-dimensional game engines again so that I would get a feel for how they implement several components and features that I would want my game engine to have I did not do that actually when I started um, developing my own I had only used uh, one game engine and that was Cocos 2D uh, which is a two-dimensional game engine and I was developing a three-dimensional game engine so you can imagine my only experience before developing a 3D game engine was using a 2D game engine and that held me back tremendously so I would not do that mistake again if I had the chance to go back in time but it's too late point number two I would actually join game jams and um, try to make different uh, type of games with different game engines um, so that I could get a sense for the API and the user experience um, and the tools that each engine provides to that game developer. Again, just being exposed to other game engines would have helped me tremendously, a lot. Uh, but unfortunately, I didn't do that. and. That was something that I wish I would have done differently. Uh, point number three, I would actually be more social and hang out with other game developers and learn from them, uh, learn the tools that they use, uh, learn their workflow, um, get a sense of what they like about a particular engine and what don't they like and what are they really uh, looking for in a game engine. I did not do that. I basically worked on my game engine for a while in my own little bedroom without having any interaction with other game developers. Um, I wish I would have not done that. I wish I would have joined uh, game jams, physical game jams, and go and talk to them and interact with them and you know make friends and also learn about their process. But yeah, that, that should have done that. Uh, point number four. I would join um, a community of game engine developers um, and interact with them um, and get a sense of how they would implement a particular component, a particular feature, uh, learn about the tools that they use, gain more knowledge from them. Again, being social as a game developer will help you a lot. So make sure to reach out to other game developers, to other game engine developers. Um, so that way um, they can help you and you can help them with the knowledge that you are gaining as you are developing your own game engine. And my final point, which I totally forgot if it's point number four or point number five, is that I would uh, just relax and realize that developing a game engine is a marathon and at a sprint. Um, initially, I was such in a rush to develop my own game engine that I put in insane amount of hours throughout the week on developing my own game engine. I was literally at Starbucks, like I think like 48 hours the whole weekend just working on my game engine. Um, and also throughout the week, I would wake up very early in the morning put some time into my game engine and go to work. Then after work, I would work on my game engine till like 1 or 2 a.m. Um, and that burned me out. Um, and I would definitely not do that again. I would just relax um, and just schedule one or two hours a day to work on my game engine and then go out and have fun and, you know, socialize with other game developers and indie game engine developers. Um, I would definitely do that. Uh, I would not I would not put an insane amount of 
hours into my game engine um, if I had a chance to go back. But again, I didn't know, but now I do know, and I'm sharing these mistakes with you so you don't make them as well. All right, guys, I hope you like this video. Uh, if you haven't done so, please subscribe to my channel, join my Discord server, and I'll see you next time. Thank you, guys.